came back, the first same bird that came here when I first came here. My mom, the first time that we came here to see the apartment, she fell in love with this bird and she said that if I did anything bad, the, the bird would be the messenger and carry the message over to her. And she also started calling the bird my cat's name. So this bird's name is Moni now. So, I moved out. Not me signing my lease, ayo. I honestly like don't even know what to say about this because it still hasn't hit me yet. And I'm trying to put my thoughts into off with everything that I've been feeling over the past few weeks. If you all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys know that I've been talking about moving out for months and months now, and it's literally been on the back of my head for years, you know? I literally bought hangers, you can't see it, but I bought hangers in the back literally last year, over a year ago, because that's when I wanted to start actually actively start moving out, but it didn't happen. So I have all these things from when I actually started shopping for and now I'm actually bringing it to my first apartment and it's, it's crazy. So first I want to talk about some of the reasons why I'm moving out. So first things first, my commute from school, from home to school is really, really long. Well, not really, really long. Some people, they deal with longer ones. But in the morning, I have to wake up at 5.45. I have to get on the bus by 6.30 and I get to the city by 8.05. And that's exact timing for the time I field work for my first graders and sometimes I'm late and I can't do anything about it because of train delays so sometimes it takes me two hours to get to school two hours to come back which is a total of four hours every, almost every single day for my commute for school but I cannot be waking up that early because I have to go to sleep like almost right when I get home you know I barely have any time to do actual things when I get home I had to go somewhere that was so much closer to school and it just made more sense to you know splurge so I didn't have to wake up spend my energy and time and all those things to commute to school one of the sole reasons why I want to move out and why it's so hard for brown girls in South Asian families to move out is because they have this expectation where they have to kind of stay at home, be the caregivers, be, you know, be the oldest daughter basically and keep the house running. That's what I've been doing for so many years. Like my brother has been going to his dorm since he was 18 and I actually talked about this in my podcast. So if you want to check it out, Difficult Dish on Spotify and all other streaming platforms, um, I talked about some of the burdens that I have at home and why I have to put some of my dreams in pause if you want to catch that episode. So it was really hard for me to convince my parents to move out and it took me many, many years, like I said. But one of the biggest things is like, I want to grow independently, you know? Like it's great, I love having my mom at home cooking for me, I love just having her as support and me moving out isn't me leaving them. This isn't me saying, oh, I hate you guys, I'm gonna leave. And it's not for freedom either, because I do have a good amount of freedom. Compared to other people, I'm allowed to go out whenever I want. I am allowed to do most things that, some, that most people aren't allowed to do. And I'm very grateful for that. So it's not like I'm leaving because I want to go out at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't even have friends like that. I don't go out anymore at all. I think more with independence, I mean like, I want to learn how to cook on my own. I want to be able to do like real life situational things where I don't have to depend on someone else, you know? Because I'm already very, very independent. Like, I'm a hardcore feminist. If you guys know me, like, I do shit, everything by myself. Like, I don't like depending on anyone. I don't really like talking to anyone at all. Um, but I kind of wanted to, like, kick it up a notch, you know? Kind of wanted to bring it up here. I've also never really had my own room decoration. If you guys know, I actually renovated my room this past year. And that was the first time I ever had my own room. And that was my first room in 22 years and that was freaking crazy for me. But now this is like my own like space. Cause even at home, you know, God bless my mom, love her. But she was very micromanagey in the kitchen. I was trying to cook something, you know, cook up some croissants, cook up some ravioli. And she's always hovering over me, you know. It's fine, she wants to help me. But the thing is, I don't need help. I want to learn, I want to make the mistakes on my own. A third reason is I couldn't like really hear my thoughts at home. 
And it's not even like it's loud in the house. It's not even like there's constant talking. I just feel like when I sat down to record or if I sat down to do something, there was just always like chaos going on and going on in my head and there was never like peace. And that's not anything related to my parents necessarily. I think it's more about just being in the same environment for so long. You know, you kind of need to change, change up your space once in a while to like really get things moving, you know? So there were just most days where I could not focus on anything. I kind of just needed to get out of that space. So I can actually hopefully get busier and get more motivated because the end goal of moving out is for me to focus more on my career, focus more on myself, and eventually give more to my parents in comparison to what I could have given from the house, right? So yeah, I just want to be like more in peace with myself, with my routine. I've just like never been able to do any of that. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, sunrise. Oh. Relax, relax. I've never had my own fire escape, and just sitting out there, I think it was starting to hit me because I'm experiencing my first sunset in this apartment. And, you know, I signed the lease. Everything happened pretty quickly, even though I started apartment hunting in the beginning of the summertime. I think now that I'm actually here and it happened after so many months and years of me dreaming about this, it doesn't even feel real. Because like, <laughs> like how can this feel real? Like, it's like when, you know when you want something for so long and then when you finally get it, it doesn't feel like it's actually happening because it just feels like still a dream in your head. I am very grateful for my parents obviously they did so much for me literally they actually used to live here before we used to live in queens before we moved to long island because of the better education there a lot of you guys know this i always say it in my videos and my podcast so it's crazy coming back to an area that we kind of left and i'm coming back as an adult now you know i think sometimes to make that that relationship with your parents with siblings with your partner with anyone better you sometimes need Right? because that's what makes the relationship stronger. So now that I'm further away from home, it kind of forces us to talk more, but in better terms, you know? And hopefully things grow like that. That was my biggest intention with moving out. Um, another thing is, I really wanted my apartment to not be too far away from home because I want to visit every couple of days, obviously. Because my brother, he goes to school four hours away, so it's not as easy for him. Another reason for me moving out, this one's a little woozy. So if you guys know, I've been talking about a new collection for a long time. I know I've been freaking gassing it up for so long and it hasn't come out yet, but soon, I promise soon. Since this new collection is me actually shipping and manufacturing and doing everything by myself, that means I have to do everything from my home, right? So this is also jumping off of what I said about having a comfortable space, having an area that I design, having a place where I feel peaceful, right? I also need a proper workspace where I can do everything efficiently and beautifully, you know? I need a whole table for my clothing to ship it, to pack it, like whatever. This is a perfect space for that because I ordered a big ass table already for that and it's perfect, the post office is nearby. Also, I can't do it at home because I have two cats at home and their cat fur gets everywhere. My door is constantly closed because my cat, Toffee, always comes in. I also do a lot of my work in bed, so this is gonna hopefully motivate me to get out of bed. I am gonna show you a whole apartment tour. Once again, 
I have never had my own apartment before, so this is crazy. And I'm paying everything by myself, and I'm really proud of myself for that because it is such a big move and such a big decision um, for anyone, not even someone my age, but I feel like you have to be uncomfortable to grow, and that's what I am, you know. I'm gonna become financially uncomfortable, I'm gonna become emotionally um, uncomfortable, and I'm just doing it for my growth, you know. So we just checked out apartment number two, three, and four. Two of them were in the same building, the last two, and we actually really liked the last two that were in the same building, just cause like, it's not too expensive, it's a good amount of space, there's a lot of closet space. Also, the kitchen isn't so small where there's no counter space. Like, there's a lot of counter space and there's two entries into the kitchen. So I'm feeling myself because it's also like right... It's also right by the subway so I don't have to walk that long. And it's right in the area that I used to live in when I was a kid. So it's so familiar and I feel very at home. Like, we literally passed by the hospital that I was born in. I passed by the park that I grew up in. There's so many spots that I, I literally had my photo shoot here last year for my first collection. Okay, so when you walk in, this is what you see. Look how freaking beautiful and sunny it is. I love it so much. I have some furniture in here already that I have to set up, but look at this. Like there's so much natural sunlight and that makes me feel so much at home and comfy because I don't have to constantly put on lights. And then there's this little pocket, the secret pocket here. And I was gonna put my bed here, but I don't think I am anymore. I think I'm gonna put my workspace here. There's another window here. I got this huge mirror recently. And look at that, I have a fire escape. I've never had my own fire escape. Or anything in general, honestly. <laughs> I've had nothing to my name. So this is the view from this way. And look how crazy this is. Have you ever seen a full kitchen like this in a studio apartment in New York City? No, you haven't because I haven't either. And there's so much room in the cabinets. It's old fashioned, but I really like that. I think it adds some character. And look at this, a walk-in closet. Have I ever had that in my house even? The answer is no, I haven't. And this is the bathroom. There's also some storage behind. Oof, behind, you know, a simple, simple bathroom. Full bathtub, love that for me. So the beautiful thing about this apartment is not only is it pretty, pretty big, there's also a lot of storage. So this is one of the closets right by the door. And this is another closet, huge. You can literally walk into it, so big. And then the other one that I showed you, the walk-in closet. And there's also a supply storage closet right here. It's crazy. So I really had to get this apartment because obviously all the things that I told you, beautiful location, beautiful place. There's so many restaurants and stores that I can just walk to nearby. It literally cuts my commute from two hours to like 25 minutes. Also, this apartment, they were offering one month free, which is kind of rare now since COVID is kind of calming down here. So most apartments don't really offer that incentive anymore. I feel really, really blessed because I feel like I got all of my checklist things checked off, you know, like this is, perfect and it honestly still has not hit me yet that I've moved out but I think it slowly will once I actually start living here and I have things out but I feel so, so blessed um, I think a reminder to our parents and to ourselves obviously we want to move out for our growth and for our independence and for our mental health but it is still so important to talk to our parents and call them often because they're probably not used to you leaving the house and they're not used to this different life for them, you know? So if parents are watching this, when your kids are moving out, it's not about them leaving you behind. It's not about them forgetting about everything that you did. It's literally just them wanting to explore the world on their own for the first time. 
and that's exciting but also scary for everyone you know probably just gonna make your relationship better from afar and seeing each other once in a while instead of being in the same house every single day and not even talking i hope you guys liked my little sit down and talk i think this is one of the first times where i actually feel comfortable enough to talk in my normal voice and my tone i just feel more at home and comfortable so thank you so much for watching uh, please like and subscribe please follow me on all my socials i'm labyrinth app and i'm also mahua.com on instagram i'm trying to get my name but i don't think it's really possible because i'm not like an influencer or anything so i can't like pay off someone to get my name but anyways um mahua.com for some outfit inspo you know to catch up with my life labyrinth app for my art and also my other individual journeys and yeah check out my website labyrinthapp.com because the new collection is coming soon i know i keep saying that but it is coming soon check out our podcast difficult dish and i think that's enough of me promoting myself but yeah i can't wait to show you all the new video ideas that i have and i'm excited for this new journey so thank you so much for watching bye